Hey, film me what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Hollywood VIP. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss these are Dog the Bounty Hunter's most shocking scandals. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. After the sad death of Dwayne Chapman's wife, Beth, he got engaged to someone else, which created some family drama surrounding the wedding. There's been quite a few times when Dwayne has gotten into trouble. Keep watching to find out about Dog the Bounty Hunter's most shocking scandals. Number 6. Dog the Bounty Hunter Got Into a Bar Fight The reality star has been involved in some strange situations, even bailing Nicolas Cage out of jail, and he has been involved in several scandals over the past few years. Dog the Bounty Hunter also made headlines when he and a man got into a huge fight at a bar in 2011. According to Hollywood Life, Dwayne Chapman had a stun gun and swore at the other man. So I'm trying to man up. Thank you. Yeah, but you built it together. Yes. Number 5. His daughter says he had affairs. Dwayne's daughter, Bonnie Chapman, said that Dwayne Chapman had affairs. According to NY Daily News, Bonnie commented on how her dad was getting married a second time after her mom passed away in 2019. Bonnie commented on how she and Cecily, her half-sister, were not invited to Dwayne's wedding. When Dwayne and Francie got married in September 2021, the Daily Mail reported that this was Dwayne's sixth marriage. 100 people attended the wedding in Colorado Springs. Um, well, if I tell you that, then he's going to know a bunch of that. Oh, also, you have some secrets so, for him. Yes. Number four, his daughter also said he's homophobic and racist. NY Daily News also reported that Bonnie said her dad is homophobic and racist, making this another big scandal that he has been involved in. Bonnie said, when it comes to the system on Unleashed TV, my father was fired by the platform for using racial and homophobic epithets toward my fellow cast members on the show, which is about social justice advocacy and protesting violence and racial bias by police. I have expressed time and time again my ever-growing disappointment in my father's progression into his old racist ways. People reported that Francie said that she and Dwayne didn't want Bonnie at the wedding because she supported the Black Lives Matter movement. Bonnie also said of her mom's influence on her dad, I think mom did change my dad, but that change vanished when my mom died. Send flowers. I mean, so there's nothing being authorized from any of us, but you know how buzzards are, so. Number three, Dog the Bounty Hunter was sued. Dog the Bounty Hunter was sued for his behavior during filming. The Sun reported that he had a taser during shooting of a show in Virginia, which wasn't legal, and he also used racist language. The star was also being sued for breaching his contract. Cinemablend.com reported that Unleashed Entertainment sued CBD Global Sciences, who had a deal with Dog the Bounty Hunter. Unleashed said that Dog the Bounty Hunter and the CBD company made over $100,000 of ill-gotten profits by promoting marketing materials from Dog Unleashed. Mike Donovan, the CEO of Breach Entertainment, said, These actions forced us to cancel production of the show, and unfortunately, Chapman is now viciously taking out his anger on his employees. Unleashed Entertainment stands fully behind its employees and will take legal action should the threats continue. Francie came in, I was like scared to death. Oh my God, especially baby Lisa. Number two, Dog the Bounty Hunter commented on his racist remarks. Dog the Bounty Hunter used a racial slur in a phone conversation back in 2007, and A&E canceled his series because of it. He made things even worse and more offensive by claiming that it was fine to use this term. He told Entertainment Tonight, I thought I had a pass as he was in prison in 1979 and always said the word. Kevin Frazier from E.T. told him, If you use that word, if you use it in your regular everyday life, it makes you a racist. It all depends on the picture they got of him the other day where they're hunting now. If really that was him, no one has said that. If not... Number 1. Dog the Bounty Hunter Owes Money Back in 2003, Dog the Bounty Hunter was in Mexico when he was arrested for felony kidnapping. According to CinemaBlend.com, because bounty hunting isn't legal in Puerto Valley, he got into trouble. When a lawyer took his case, Dwayne sued him and the lawyer countersued, according to TMZ. In 2013, Dog the Bounty Hunter was told to pay $880,000, but he didn't. In 2021, it came out that he owed $880,916 as well as interest. So guys, this is all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video.